Hey guys, welcome to our channel. So my fiance is sleeping. So I'm doing the our final video for Stofers out here. Not bad place to do it. But we got all of the letters to go through all of the categories. We got all of the numbers, numerology number, numerological numbers to go through all of the categories. We found a potential quantum network user. We confirmed that quantum network user through Gematria. Obviously, the Freemasons designed some of these quantum computers and they're running the Gematria algorithm and making sure that they all connect. <coughs> and now we've gotten our binary, simple binary code, A, zero b1 c0 d1 all the way to z we got that to go through all the categories now except random and now we're on random hits so changes after like letters are crossed off is s o u f e s k a we brought that over we used the binary chart to get zero 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 one zero 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 okay now this one was a little different. There was only a couple things. You got a whole bunch of binary stuff, uh, conversions. But you also got, and the thing that the, was the most interesting to me of the pages I looked through was simulation waveform. And I'm supposed to read. All right. Well, let's just read about this simulation waveform, shall we? A parallel self-timed adder, P-A-S-T-A, is designed. It is based on a recursive form formulation and uses half adders and multipliers for performing multi-bit binary addition. Theoretically, the operation is parallel for those bits that do not need any carry chain propagation. Thus, the new approach attains logarithmic performance without any special speed up. And it goes on. This was where it got interesting, guys. <laughs> because this paper presents a low power area efficient 11 B single ended successive approximation register SAR analog to digital converter ADC. Targeted for biomedical applications. The design features an energy efficient switching technique with an error canceling capacitor network. The input range is twice the reference voltage. All right. Did you catch that? Targeted for biomedical applications. Fever of unknown origin. Bam. And then if you bring that, that's really all that was there. And I mean that this time. There really wasn't anything else. I'll just be providing these links. And the very next thing you got was backwards. We brought that gets you go go through going forwards. Now we're coming back. Zero 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 one zero 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 randomly is US dollar to Ethereum. Which as I think Alex pointed out and left me a link to watch. It is a cryptocurrency. And this is a U.S. dollar to Ethereum conversion chart. And we had that before, like I said. And I believe it was finance. So obviously they're looking at Ethereum. For some reason, I don't know why compared to the U.S. dollar, but why not? That's what they did. That's what you got. So that gets you through going forwards and backwards in random, in, or in simple binary and random hits, and that completes stovetop. So hopefully tomorrow I'll get around to checking out I Love Rock and Roll, make sure there are no other changes to calculate. And if not, it'll. I think it's a three-letter calculation. And we will run it and see what we can find or, or what we can't find. Once again, we're certain some of these are caused by other things than quantum computers. It just isn't. They're going to be probably few and far in between with all the quantum computers up.
and running. So each one will be a mystery. Will it work? Will it go through? Will we find a quantum network user? We don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So far we're 10 for 10, but that just means we haven't come across um, since we've been decoding these, we have not come across yet um, an effect that was caused by something other than a quantum computer, which isn't a huge surprise. But I also wouldn't be hugely surprised to come across one eventually. So we'll see. We'll see. So that's going to be it for this one. Um, yeah, I forget who I love, but. Uh, I think it was, yeah, I don't, don't have the comments up and I don't have internet out here, so. Mm. But whoever left me the comment um, about hidden knowledge um, also left a comment inquiring about my process or our process, my fiance and my process, and well, Phoenix is involved and he, he's helped us out a lot. And uh, so has several other people. Alex. Um, so, Megan, I think I keep thanking these guys. Why shouldn't I? They're part of why we got where we got. But I left a couple of videos that outlines our process. So hopefully they help if you can get a hold of those. And uh, I think that is definitely going to be it for now. So for now, guys, thanks for all your thumbs up, thumbs down when appropriate. Thanks for all your comments, leads, feedback, and subscriptions. And thanks for watching. This concludes Stovetop completely. And next will be I Love Rock and Roll. I will also look at some maps tonight uh, for Danny. I said I was going to look at some Nebraska maps, some of the regional maps that I know well, and see if I see notice anything weird. And I'll be doing that. Before I move to I Love Rock and Roll, I'll do that tonight. So we'll see if I see anything worthy of making a video. If I do, I'll do that tomorrow. So, all right. So I hope that covers everything. So for now, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. And uh, for now, you guys have a great rest of your day.